good day to you my brothers and sisters i hope you're all doing fine so today i'm gonna talk about the wisdom of god the power of god in christ alone okay so we all know that god loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life it's found in john 3 verse 16 so god loves us all and wants all to be saved whether people from lgbtq or people who are crippled or people who are homeless everyone are accepted the thieves the murderers the serious killers everyone is going to believe in christ and repent from their sins yes they can come to jesus christ they can be saved and forgiven by our God, our loving Creator. Okay, so but the word of God's nonsense to those who are lost. You see, when I was preaching outside there, when I used to go and evangelize, here people telling me, "Oh, you're making noise! Stop this! Whatsoever, whatsoever." They didn't want to listen at all. It was nonsense to their ears they did not want to hear that of repent repent jesus is coming soon no they didn't want to hear anything about that but few only few understood that because they wanted to know okay we all know that god knows his only his chosen people he knows his chosen people since before the beginning of the world he knows that these people are mine these people are mine so whoever is lost is lost god knows okay let us read first corinthians 1 chapter 18 for the message about christ's death on the cross is nonsense to those who, who are being lost but for us who are being saved it is god's power it is god's power so we shall not be afraid to go out there and preach this powerful way this good news that god wants us to preach to all the world that they may know him that he is the one and true god that created the heaven and the earth and we see there are a lot of people today that worship idols and it's wrong god is not happy at all about these foolish things that people are doing let us move on. The scripture says, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and set aside the understanding of the scholars. So then where does that leave the wise or the scholars or the skillful de debaters of this world? God has shown that this world's wisdom is foolishness. Okay, now the world teaches us things that are not things that are pleasing to God or things that will save us to go to heaven. No. They don't. The knowledge of this world, the wisdom of this world can never ever ever save us only what is in here of god the more you know it the more you shall not be deceived by this evil world we know that the devil changed and become the the angel of the light okay even so his agents they can and they can share those words thinking that there are ways that they lead to heaven but no but only if you know the wisdom of god the truth the, know, the wisdom of God, you will not be deceived easily and you will rebuke and know that these ones are false. These ones are not the ones that can save you, set you free from <clears throat> your sins. So, God loves us all. Yes, he loves us all and wants everyone to, to repent of their sins, to come back to him. Okay? God is not sent Jesus Christ to come to this world and take his people yet because there are still many people lost and us we have to do this to let people wake up and see the truth the world has changed and it's changing day by day it's changing totally changing there's no love no peace every day people are dying do you want to die lost, my brother and sister? Do you want to die knowing that you died in sin and not in Christ? This is evil. This is not right. I want you to be saved. All of us want you to be saved. All those people who preach the gospel, repent, repent, want you to be saved because they know that God has saved them. God has saved me. Now he wants to save you too. Come back to him. The knowledge of this world can never save you. Save you. Once you put your mind, set your mind on things above on the word of God, you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. 
God is still calling, he's still saying something to you, but you are not inclining your ears to him. He is waiting for you to respond back to him. The Bible is here to guide us on how we should live our life. But if we ignore what's in this book, then we shall be lost. This is the wisdom of God. This is the word of God. This is the power of God. And this is power for us as Christians. Those who are followers of Christ are Christians. Those who are Christians are the ones that should walk in the likeness of Jesus Christ. So Christians, we shall live a life that represents Christ, okay? And we should teach people for Christ has commanded us, go on, make disciples, baptizing them in the word of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, making them disciples, okay? And he told us to go and preach about this, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We shall preach so that people will know the truth, okay? I, what I also I realize is that people love the world too much. They love the world and the knowledge of this world. They don't want to repent of their sins from loving the world. Remember, Jesus said we shall not love the world, not the things that in the world. For if we love it, the love of the Father, God, is not within us. So people love the world, the things of the world. They don't even feel the desire to come and read this book of good news, this Bible. They don't want to hear the good news of our Savior. They're still feeding the desire of their flesh. The world is evil. The things of the world distract us from reading and spending time with our loving Father, God. And we cannot see it. We don't see it. We don't want to see it. We are closing our eyes and closing our ears. We don't. We are blinded although we see. God wants each and every one of us to see the truth. To know the truth to preach the truth, to talk the truth, to do the truth, to live the truth, everything. Yet people are still in the world that don't want to live. You see, it's hard though in the beginning to leave the things of the world behind. But once you are in there, knowing that um, God is with you, is going to be with you, and knowing that you are walking the right path, it's worth it. It's worth it to leave the things of the world, to live according to how God wants you to live, to make sure that you don't make a mistake, but will be, there will be a mistake there. But you will know that this is not the one God wants me to do, even though you have seen that time, you will go and repent and say, God, forgive me, I've done this, I didn't mean to, help me to not do this again. That way you are growing and disciplining yourself on how you should live. A life that God has called you to live you see in my life has been very very hard lately but I really appreciate that I've come to where I am it's very difficult for me to to not now to to think to not think of the things of God I mean before I used to fill my mind with the things of this world the things of this world which corrupted me although sometimes i do suffer but i do know what i have to do so once you know the knowledge the truth the truth in this shall set you free you would not want to dwell in sin to live in sin or want other people to perish you will want to show them the truth to come and live with to live how god wants us to live I can see people even at church. Um, I, I don't really like to talk about people, how what things is wrong they do, but I have to. What I've noticed people at church is that they're still busy with the things of God. They even take the things of the world coming, they come with it inside the church. I'm not going to mention them. They come with it inside the church. I mean, if I could take somebody that is in the world that does not know Christ and them, there's no different at all. There is no different at all. There is not different. You know, us as Christians, we are called to be more like Jesus Christ, to be the light of the world into this dark world, to be the light to those people who are living in the dark, who are lost. But yet we are failing to do so because of we still love the world. The world is disturbing us. It's distracting us from walking with God, from knowing the truth, from knowing how to live a holy life, how God wants us to live. 
But let us try. Let us try, my brother and sister. Let us try to fight this fight. The devil is a liar. The devil wants each and every one of us to perish. But God 